what's going on guys welcome back in today's quick video i'm gonna be adding a modern feature to our m3 which is the oil level indicator display on your instrument cluster so uh, if you want to know what's involved stick around and i'll show you exactly what you need to do to enable this feature on the e46 m3 but before we get into details make sure you hit a like subscribe and comment down below to get this accomplished you will need your laptop your kd con cable and a little bit of coding knowledge nothing too crazy you want to put your key in position two and then open up your ncs expert load your coding profile mine is a reverter click ok then click vin ZCS, then enter FA, which then you select your chassis, E46, click cancel the next window, click F3, then select your ECU, which is AKMB, whichever one you choose does not matter, wait up until it populates, and this is all your uh, modules, then process ECU. You want to select AKMB because that's the gauge cluster in this situation that we're going to be coding. And it's very important to change your job to coherent lesson. That means read instead of write. Then you want to press execute job and you wait for it to finish. And then you have your red file in your work folder. You want to go into your work folder, find the FSW file, and you want to make a copy of it just in case something goes wrong. You have a original backup on it. Then you want to go back to your work folder and change the FSW file, the extension to MAN. Then you want to open it in the uh, notepad. And uh, you have a list of all the options on the instrument cluster. Now here is the important part. You're gonna be looking for a line that states O-E-L-N-I-V-E-A-U underscore M3. Best way to do this is under edit. You wanna se select option find and just type that in. Bring you right to the line that you're looking for. And once that's located, all you do is erase the niche active to just active and press save and you then you could close the notepad go back to your ncs uh, expert and now here's the fun part we're going to be actually writing this to the cluster which then you click change job and change the, the protocol to sg coderian which means coding Press execute job, wait for it to finish. And once it's finished, you're good to go. We just coded your cluster and we could check it out what the results are. Now here comes the scary part. You could check whether you bricked your gauge cluster or this actually works. So how do you do that is you turn your key into position two let it all cycle through and with your bc button on your on your on your blinker stock you have your regular temperature you scroll through the options and uh, all of a sudden you have this extra feature which says oil service and it has these um these numbers now full disclaimer before I go any further, to perform this, you will have to run a CSL engine management because without that, this option, even if you code it to your cluster, it won't appear on, on, your, on your cluster because it's only specific to the CSL DME uh, engine software, which came on the original CSL. Another thing that you wanna keep in mind is on the original CSL, 
the oil level sensor had a little bit different parameters for whatever reason. It actually, from the research I have done, it seems like the CSL model reads the oil level four millimeters lower on a dipstick. Therefore, this uh, display will show on a CSL full and on the standard car, it might show that it's only maybe half a liter above minimum level or, or more. Uh, from what I uh, research, uh, most people seem to uh, say that anywhere between 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8 liters above minimum when it's actually full. But that varies because of what I'm about to show you in a second on mine, it's totally different. So let's see how you actually interpret these readings. Let me turn on the car. And as you could see on my car right now, I checked the oil before. I know it's full at the dipstick and this display shows plus 0 0.02 liters of oil, which actually means that I'm about, about 200 millimeters above the minimum mark according to this display. Um, but I know for a fact that I'm actually pretty close to full on the actual dipstick. So like I mentioned prior, this is not the most accurate display. So if the display read 0, 0.0, then that would have mean that you're at the minimum oil level. I guess as long as there is a plus over here, that means you're above the minimum because if it's minus that means you are below minimum which at that point you should be concerned there are two options to this uh, display it actually displays what i call a static oil level and a dynamic oil level so what it shows right now is the a static reading that means when you turn your uh, position into a key into position two that's what the oil sensor reads without the engine running. Now you could actually measure the live reading, which is the dynamic reading, uh, what the oil level is. In order to do that, uh, you will have to hold the sport button for about a couple seconds. But before you do that, the engine has to be at the operating temperature. So like for example, the warm up lights have to be uh, off and uh, your oil um, temp gauge should be at the uh, normal operating temperatures. I think uh, from what I read is above 60 degrees Celsius. And it's very important, the, uh, you have to be idling for at least two minutes on level ground, because if it's, you're not on level ground, even though you press this button, see, you, you have these uh, number comes up right away, and it reads plus, 1.0 liters that means i'm actually at the maximum oil level according to the live dynamic reading which sounds about right so the static reading is not really accurate if you're not on a on level ground this actually won't come up even though you're holding the button because i tried this several times if you even in a little hill you'll get these uh, minus signs instead of the reading but since i'm on level ground it actually displays right away so uh, my dynamic reading uh, shows that I'm one liter over minimum, which is a max level. And that is it. That's basically how to read uh, the readings from this oil display. Like I mentioned, it's not the most accurate thing in the world, but it gives you a general idea. Say for example, you're, you're driving hard on a track, you're whipping around and all of a sudden you see that it read say for example half a liter below than what was reading before so regardless whether this is accurate or not you will know that you lost at least half a liter from your prior reading so that'll give you you know fair bit of warning that something is going on and it's a cool mother feature if uh, if you ask me so hopefully that'll answer some of your your concerns questions about uh, this display if this helped you in any way Hit a like, subscribe, and if you have any questions, comment down below, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.